This story is a warning from my family experience. I saw it with my eyes, not being told by anyone. They took my sister's life. The devil knows that we try by all means to avoid him. He knows what we like the most. He take advantage of it. So these satanic organizations are scattered everywhere. Let's not forget to pray each and every day. They are using these board lotions to steal our souls and isolate our souls somewhere. Satan knows we want to bleach. He knows we want strong perfume. Yellow viewers, welcome once again to another episode of African Confessions HD right here on Extraordinary Africa. If you're still new, in this show, we publish lifetime confessions. Usually, we post anonymously for their own safety reasons. And in today's video, we have three confessions. So make sure you watch it to the end. And viewers, without wasting much of your time, let's go straight into our first confession for today. Hello, admin. Can you please post me anonymous? I am a lady from Deben. Mine is a confession, but also a warning to everyone in any of the following countries. South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Nigeria, Zambia, Eswatini, Zimbabwe, Kenya, and some of the countries I can't mention. Be careful with some of these beauty brands. My sister once worked for a beauty brand from Asia. She saw their advert on Facebook. They were looking for affiliates. So she used to sell their products on commission. They have board lotions, perfumes, soaps, hair foods, and other beauty products. Those days, they were using the tag name Star Beauty but they change each and every time. Ever since she joined the program, her behavior changed. She became so stubborn, disobeying parents, starting prostitution. She used to like going to church, but she was no longer. As a sister, we used to sleep in the same bedroom. At midnight, I sometimes woke up to see her doing weird actions. She used to be focused when doing those actions. I could shout, calling her, but she would not answer. But tomorrow morning, she used to say, what were you calling me for? I informed our parents. Everyone thought he was mentally ill. Parents went with her to several doctors. Doctors said she was okay. Of all three doctors they visited, one said she was abusing drugs too much. They gave her medication, but nothing changed. In fact, it was getting worse. What surprised us is that even though mental lost, she continued selling the products very well, earning huge profits, but the behavior was not good at all. One day, we had a church service. She rushed away from home came back and start scolding parents. Parents remain thinking maybe it was their yeah, excess drug consumption. They begin suspecting a spiritual problem after one of her friends begin to behave like that. So one day on a Sunday morning, we woke up early as we planned last night. That was me, my parents and my two other siblings. We locked all doors in the gate. She was still asleep. She used to wake up at around 11 a.m. to call off midday. After locking the doors, we went to the church and came back with our pastor and few congregants. We start singing worshiping songs outside the yard, then start praying. She started manifesting, crying loudly. We went inside. She was vomiting blood. As the pastor was praying, the demon said, Stop it. I am in fire. Can you please give me a chance to talk? Pastor told everyone, 
to keep quiet, everyone who was there stopped praying. We kept quiet to listen to what the demon was going to say. The demon said his name was Radu, a servant of the devil. What she told us concludes the company which produces the products is owned by a certain group. They are stealing people's souls using those products. From what she said, they have already took her soul. Everything she was now doing was of the devil. She was under the devil. Whilst manifesting, she confessed that she joined Satanism by using the products. They hold their meeting under the Mount Kilimanjaro mountain. She confessed that a lot of people joined, but some are not even aware of it. They took they take souls and put them in blood pool, which is located in China. So that what happened to Ye. We prayed. She seems to be okay after prayers. But tomorrow morning, my sister woke up dead. She was bleeding on no steels, ears, and from the mouth. Even the mortigeners failed to stop the blood. We buried her still bleeding. Of all your friends, only one is still alive, but she is now blind, deaf, and dumb, making her life a very difficult one. This story is a warning from my family experience. I saw it with my eyes, not being told by anyone. They took my sister's life. The devil knows that we try by all means to avoid him. He knows what we like the most. He take advantage of it. So these satanic organizations are scattered everywhere. Let's not forget to pray each and every day. They are using those lotions to steal our souls and isolate them. Satan knows we want to bleach. He knows we want strong perfumes. He is striving to meet our demands. That's why you see murders, thefts, prostitution, robberies, cruelty, and other works of satanic increasing daily. Let's always pray. Let's not get carried away by anything comes without doing a proper research. I hope you found this story helping. Uncle, thank you if you post my story. That's my message to the war of the world. Yellow admin, can you please hide my identity? I am a man from Lusaka, Zambia. The story is about this friend of mine. We have been friends since school days. Everyone knows how close we were. If you see one, expect to see the other one very close to the spot. We finished high school and start working at a same factory. He get married to this lady. The lady was our former classmate. We were transferred to the Kamban's branch in Kitwe. We left our families in Lusaka. So sometimes you could send me with parcels to give his wife. The wife was staying with his mother who was not feeling well in Lusaka. I don't understand why and how I fall in love with his wife. They have been failing to have a child. I impregnated the wife two times. The children are doing well in netball. My friend always talk about the children. He think he is the father. I don't want to hate him. He spent a lot of money sending them to school. It's now 22 years after these incidents happened. I like my long-term friend. But I want my kids to know their real family. What's your advice to me? Yay, keep me anonymous. So here is my story. 
I am 15 years old and I live with my mom, sister, little brother and my other brother. So my mom abused me emotionally. She likes to compare me with other children. When I ask her why does she do that, she just shout like my life is like a hell. So me and my two other siblings, we don't have a good relationship. My sister always bully me and say yet for words like you are a dog. When I, I tell my mom, she says that she did the right thing. So there is this other day, me and my little brother were fighting. So he said, I'm not his real sister. I'm just adopted. I should go back to my own mom. I struggle at school with math and physics. She just swears at me and say it for words like, I wish I have not brought you here. You are useless. My sister always buys my little brother clothes. Then leave me like that. I am a stranger. I need any advice of what I should do because now I'm depressed and emotionally exhausted. Yes, viewers, that was our confession for today. Thank you so much for sharing these awful stories we have learned. We have learned to the first confession. Oh, my word, this world, this world. Again, they are using body lotions. Guys, we need to pray. Each and every day, when you, you wake up early in the morning, you have to pray. Midday, you have to pray. Before sleeping, you have to pray or else you are playing around with, with the devil. The devil is not is not good at all. The devil is at work 24-7. We need to pray. We need to fast. Thank you so much, my sister, for sharing such a helpful story. Uh, we have learned. We have learned. If you have learned like me, don't forget to leave a comment and a like. Thank you so much, my sister. To the second confession, my guy, my father, my brother, I don't know how to call you. You don't want to hate your, your friend, all right? But you have already did so. Why? Why? Uh, I think you need to repent, my brother. You need to, to repent wholeheartedly. Your friends should know the truth. The children should know they are they are a real father, or else you are abusing them. They should know they are a real father. Thank you so much for sharing. We've learned for now. I will leave you to comment section. Maybe there can be some someone who can help you with other advices. To the last confession. To the last confession, my sister. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I think you need to tell us your your real name. You need our assistance. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. Only dedicate yourself to God. Be faithful to God. Do not revenge them. It happens in life. God has greater things, greater destinations for you. So remain focused. Everything will be okay. I would like to thank you for sharing such a story. My sister, may God bless you. May God bless you. But why, mothers, why adopting that girl if you, you are not sure? Viewers, thank you so much for tuning into our channel. Hope you leave a comment, a like, and a share. Don't forget to leave a comment. Please, please. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was a show with Solution Uncle. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Have a good day.